You had so much to offer yesterday. You okay? I'm tired. So what's going on? Strong relationships are central to the learning process. What the science of learning and development tells us is that we need to create learning environments which allow for strong, long-term relationships for children to become attached to school and to the adults and other children in it. When children have experiences of closeness and consistency and trust, oxytocin is released Oxytocin has many, many positive effects on the development of the brain. So when we think about a relationship, we're not just talking about being nice to a child. We're talking about a child having an experience of attunement and trust strong enough <laughs> to release the hormone oxytocin. Good morning. How are you doing today? The purpose of the morning greeting That's is to I connect with them and to okay, just make sure that I'm seeing them as humans. Like I'm making that relationship with them, making that bond. I prioritize relationship building because getting to know them is the best part of the job. When I come in in the morning, we usually talk about things that are happening in our community. We're trying to build caring and respect. The teacher is trying to understand who I am and my values as a person. When I have a free 45 minutes or an hour, I think to myself, I could sit down and catch up on grading, or I could go and make connections, whether it's a smile or a joke or a reminder. It validates their presence in the building. Rock it out in the art room. It starts from so much honesty and transparency with kids. It's really easy to strive to be this like idealized, always ready to go elementary school teacher, and that's not real and that's not human. When people start talking about other things while I'm still giving directions, it feels frustrating for me and I have to take a breath. My students connect most with me when they see that I also struggle and I also have challenges. It takes a lot of vulnerability on my part. Total familiarity. When that student knows that you care about them, when they know that you're a human, Let's think about that. their academic performance in your class is going to be better. If I'm comfortable around them, then I'm more confident around them, and it's easier to ask questions and things like that. So when you're looking at this graph, what is it that you think happened? Some teachers I don't always get along with the best, so then sometimes I'm like, I can't do it, so I'm just not going to do it. But when I like the teacher, I want to do their work. I'll be like, I can learn this. You all have done outstanding work. Emotion and learning are completely connected. <laughs> if you're in a positive emotional space, if you feel good about yourself, your teacher, that actually opens up the opportunity for more learning. Good to see. Uh,